Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Yeah. Good, good morning. Yeah. Good afternoon. No. Good evening. Yeah, but, but yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, depending on the Willy Khan Pagodan you are watching us from, you are graciously welcome to uh, Nalakawa's Parliament Human Rights TV. We are with uh, a prominent uh, son of the two states, Mr. Tony Kabaka. We want to interview him based on his uh, political aspiration. Uh, we saw it on social media that he is contesting as the primus inter pares of youth in APC. That is APC youth leader. That is why we evaporated and condensed the uh, with immediate effect and alacrity to interview him to ascertain the verisimilitude, the veracity, of the story. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. The man of vocabulary. <laughs> you are welcome. Uh, no more, sir. No more, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. Together yeah. with me is, uh, is is my learned brother, comrade Emmanuel Samsi. I go the controversial, I go one. Of the micro cousin and the macro cousin. The Otemata one. The Otemata one <laughs> of the universe. The Otemata. And the measure uh, of that name, Imado Agbogu, all the oppressors will be running. Let's uh, ask it. The Otemata. <laughs> the Otemata one of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you. I beat you. Uh, thank you, my good people. Uh, basically, we are here today to discuss with the street governor. Uh, because everybody knows him in Edo State. There's no part of Edo State where you come from, whether you are from uh, Akuku Edo, or you are from Mowa, or you are from Esato, or you are from Ibido. Any part of uh, the where you find yourself, you know the name Tony Kabaka. And the majority of what we have known him from has been a great fertilizer and somebody who begins to stand in for the rights of his uh, people. Uh, I've since known him over the years, and knowing his person, for him to decide for once to want to run for that office of state youth leader. Uh, I believe some of us who are closer to him, who you have seen in recent time, has also made posts and uh, said categorically that you are supporting his uh, candidate. You want to ask from him what is it that you know, has put this energy in him at this time to want to run, to want to aspirate as a candidate, aspire. aspire uh, as candidate of a uh, state youth leader for the APC. Yeah. Basically, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Comrade Tony Kavaka Adun, as you all know. I'm a born son of the soil of uh, those states from Benin. Yeah, my brothers and sisters are both in diaspora. Let me once again say good afternoon. We are afternoon, we are in afternoon now. Well, the question you ask me, on a good day, if you want to look in all ratification, I'm overdue for even for youth leaders, state youth leaders. But you know, we keep saying, even though you want to fight for any position when the time comes, you have to show yourself from the grassroots. Yeah. And secondly, the pace 
of my people, most especially, most especially the base of our youth. I don't normally just, I don't just hold and say, let me come out. I think something, I say, well, it's our time for me to come out and represent my people. Why I come out to represent them, it's not only in my party. I'm going to represent the interests of the Edo citizen. You must, if apart from you have that first, you are from Edo state, we are together, brothers and sisters, even Nigeria entirely. So I have that conscience and uh, I'll be doing something towards it as a youth leader, behaving towards it, acting towards it. I'm overdue for. But that notwithstanding, you know. Our election is coming up on the 2nd of this month that is coming, October, October. October 2nd. So if you look, almost two weeks to go. So I want my people to feel the impact because people were there before. Uh, it was mute. It was silent. We didn't feel the impact of a uh, youth leader. Sorry to say, I'm going there. To make her my youth are engaged if I have the opportunity. I'll make sure my youth are not be oppressed if I have the opportunity. I'll make sure my youth are be doing well. No youth will be traveling. No, I'll make sure prostitution reduce. Because there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of cry here that people are feeling. Well, we are not God. I have a destiny to represent my people. So I think I should start from this duty. So I overdue. If I'm even contesting for national youth leader, I think I deserve it. Because there are no states or no country, as far as Europe is concerned, America. That, that I have not stepped my leg, that I have not seen a future like more than 2,000 youths. When I went to Italy, the way youths waited for me, I came, when I come back home, I see what is in me? I really check, it's your free man that will give you that glory. So, with that free man that I had, I want to use it for my people. I want to contribute my own part because life, you come to life to contribute your own part because life is not forever. So that's it. Yes, um, thank you, my, my sweet governor. You're uh, welcome. Um, presently, now that you feel uh, you are coming in as a youth leader, I know with your capacity from the grassroots, yeah. uh, nothing is stopping you from you know, uh, getting that office and say, if there is any other formidable person who is. Very, I don't think so. To contest with you on that office. No. But uh, basically, I want to ask now that there is this controversy of power tussle at the federal politics, now there's this uh, tussle of uh, zoning of uh, the presidency. Yeah. And uh, you know, basically, that uh, the tenures where the South South had was for five years when Jonathan you know, uh, had mm. that brief access to government. Yeah. Uh, are you uh, seeing the news where the Northern, uh, Southern uh, governors recently gathered to say that uh, power should shift to the South? Yeah. Are you, are you uh, believing that with your candidature and your position as youth leader, yeah. you, you, you want to share that same ideology or that same philosophy with uh, these Southern governors as, uh, as you intend to represent the interests of the youth? across the federation? Yeah. First of all, you said different uh, governors are coming to the APC. Let me first of all tell you, Nigeria, with the dream I'm seeing over Nigeria, Nigeria, they are big. Nigeria want to unite. Nigeria, forget whatever that we are seeing now. Nigeria will be a better place by God's grace. If God give us somebody that have fear of God. The way Amana I'm seeing people are merging with APC, I think Nigeria wants to unite and have one voice. 
I'm not up there. I'm here in my state. But you know, as a politician, the body language will tell you. You understand? So me, it's a little that will talk when it comes to that high ranking. But if you ask me, a better person is going to come out again from APC. A better person will come out again from APC. We don't know where he's from. It's only God that can say it's you that have given power. It's God that gives power. So anywhere it goes, you can see most especially in my states. Let me not divert my attention. Let me focus on my states. Mm. You can see in my states, a lot of people are not happy. A lot of people are not carrying along. A lot of this is up. So if I'm a youth leader, I will have a voice to solicit for you. I will have a voice to represent you. I will have a voice to hear your cry and cry your cry. Because we, I grew up here, I went to primary school here, I went to secondary school here. That's where I ended up my education. Uh, I grew up here in Benin. After eight years, I left Benin to Kaduna. From Kaduna to Lagos. From Lagos, that's why I speak Aunsa, Yoruba. Then from Kaduna, I went to uh, Ghana. Then from Lagos, I went to Ghana. Sorry, flip of tongue. I spent good two years in Ghana. I spent good two years in Accra. I was staying in Ashimota. You know, then is a street life. So that is why, if you ask me today, I speak Aunsa fluently. I speak Yoruba fluently. I was born and brought up in the streets. I know the pains of my people. This is why I'm looking for a platform to be transparency and equity so that I can represent my people perfectly. So that tomorrow, if I'm sitting at home, people will raise their hand, nobody else or you, like what is happening now. If not my antecedent that people have been seeing, I told people, character is just like a smoke. If anyhow you cover it, it must gas out. Uh, character is just like a cloth that you are putting on, the clothes you are putting on. If you spread it in the sun, somebody will come and tell you, ah, oh, this cloth is fine, or it's dead. So is, that is character for you. So uh, I keep imagining most of our brothers and sisters in diaspora that have known close, that is not close to me. Uh, they, they look me from the other side of the angle of life, but it's all good, it's nature of life. At times I will sit down, my name is bigger than me, of which I know that. And uh, it's called destiny. So I cannot question God over that. So I cannot be being a party, roaming around, without having a portfolio to help my people. So let me start from this grassroots and hold this portfolio to assist my people. Maybe if they see the way I manner, I behave, and the way I manner, I pilot this youth leader affair, maybe they will call me for all that thing. So it's a challenge. Because most especially when I global war. Normally before, this uh, social media was not viral. Now we are, anything you do, you cannot hide it. I don't know if you understand. So even me, I fight for this uh, position. I will still go back on my own drawing board to reduce some character. I know I'm not perfect. I will still go back to my drawing board when I'm alone to reduce some things so that I cannot put my people that support me to shame. I don't know if you understand me. I know there's no perfection in humanity. I'm not so perfect. Let me God Almighty guide me if I have opportunity to take this position. So there's a lot of things we need to contribute. It's not all about party, you know. But uh, Eva, thank you very much. Uh, putting into perspective of uh, the colors yeah. we have, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, 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 are you going to unite everybody vertically and horizontally? I know when it comes to uh, yes, putting yeah. into perspective the different uh, different colors. Listen. But you want to represent the youth. Uh, yeah. uh, are you going to unite everybody? And thank God, 
As I'm speaking, I think this video is viral. Yes. And uh, everybody around the world is watching. Yes. I've been empowered before. I was in charge of Iti local government. Yes. Okay. Under board of eternal revenue. Yes. I did not sentiment. That why that is why I use that word equity. I don't know if you understand. Equal right. Equal right and justice. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you. I work with everybody. I don't sentiment. I'm an old man with my age. Any moment from now, I'll complete my 52. I don't know if you understand. So it's not, it does not matter your age. It matters the group you belong to. It matters, it matters the, the, the streets you belong to. And most especially, you know our youth, after they've labored, they normally dump them. Thank God I have a legacy. Uh, in my tenure, when I was having opportunity, I employed when I was having opportunity to bring, after when I went to Aunsa Quarter to rescue uh, uh, Cash Fire and Nuru in Aunsa Quarter, where they wanted to evade them. Yes, I remember. A lot of people were there. Nobody brought that thing. I took those people with their goods, with them. I took them to AIG. Yes. Getting to AIG, AIG said, who is your guy? He said, we cannot take this money. This money is huge. It's more than 50 million. We cannot be dollars, pounds, and euro with gold that we are wrapped with salute. Big gold. It's bigger than two of us here. Yeah. So I took them to AID because I cannot take them to my heart. During that crisis, I went there. I was chatting. My store, my store, not the place. Police, we are there. SSS, we are there. Soldier, we are there. Yes. Everybody, we are there. The crowd there is more than I cannot even. I've not seen that kind of crowd in my life before. But based on my street credibility, I went there because I I train in stadium. I know, and I, I know I, I have that natural physique when it comes to when one on one. So I went there. I was shouting my store. You declared my store because they were about to break the store. So I know outside, uh, the, not Nuru and the boys were inside the store. They locked themselves inside. I have to open the store, bring them, they pack their things. I took them to my house. Anybody that witnessed this thing, God is watching. And most of you people that work with me, you were witness. I took them to Air Force. Uh, Air Force in Air Force Base in Air Patrol. Patrol. The brigade and the soldier, the Air Force people, some of them are still serving there. They can testify. So after when I rescued these people, I took them to uh, AIG. AIG said, the owner of this money is not here. They cannot hold this money and this gold. It may come now, you said the money is not complete yes. or the gold is not complete. So we will advise you, Tony Kabaka, take these people to your house. We know what you are capable for, of and these people will be safe. I look at it, I check myself. I took people to police. Well, I was regretting why do I start this move. I was about regretting. I took the risk. I took them to my Nuru is still there in Amsa Quarter. I took them to my my house. I locked them inside one of my room. They were there. My wife were feeding them, giving them, and Nuru grew up with me. So after everything, Air Force now came with the owner of the money. They said they want to come and take the money and the gold. Is there I can't react. I said no. You people cannot just after I've went to fire to go and rescue people. You want to take this money just like that with the gold? I say no. Even though you are whatever, I'm a bad boy. I cannot tolerate this. No, the the uh, the Air Force man now advised me. Say no, Tony. You have done a perfect job. Since it's our boss that sent us here, and uh, you are a son of a military man, a retired military man. It's good you honor him. So I pick, I pick from there. So I follow them. Getting there, they call the owner of the the gold. And they count the money in the presence of the general. They look at all the good. The man said everything was intact. You people listen to this story, very vital and important. It said everything is intact. So the man said they are going to give me 50,000. Inside dollars and pounds, that worth more than 50 million. I said, no, take the money and dash you. It's okay. I told my boys, let's leave it for them. Let's go. So the brigade command said, no. He said, no, Tony, don't go. You need to add money. If you give Tony one million, you have not done anything. This thing that this boy did, he deserves an award. You understand? That's how the brigade general 
Now told her they now give me five hundred thousand. Living there, I gave my boys share four hundred for my boys. I was not only hundred thousand. So not quite twenty minutes. My phone rocks. Thank God, Aruna, that is serving now, is a witness. Aruna, ADC, I pick. He said, Tony, why are you doing this now? You leave people to answer for I okay. said, what? Ah, man, I started shedding tears instantly. I said, see, they want to swear my name. I said, so lucky. This is why whatever Abel Stone do to me, the insult he passed to me, I said it yesterday, I will forgive him because of one particular line. I contributed so well for him. I will forgive him because I didn't know a Boston record all the activity. I went there, I brought those people out, I took them to my place, a boat record everything. So, when Oshomo Lennon called me, when I now went to government town, he said, so, you know the governor of this thing, you leave people to ask. When I was not crying, and now Abel now said, Chairman, I have the video. I said, you have the video? He said, yes, Chairman, I record everything. When Abel now played the video, everything that transpired for Shomolen was weak. He said, wow. He said, you mean you did all this and they came here to lie? He said, you know what? Uh, go and bring those youths that, uh, that assist you. Let me employ them. We need peace in this state. That was how Shomolen now gave me 86 slots of uh, neighborhood wash. My brother, earlier is a witness. Black ass is a witness. Mafight is a witness. A Bukanya is a witness. Uh, all in Jews. Oh, all of them. I called all of them. First of all, I have my voice. I called all of them to bring five, five people. And they brought it. I'm talking live now. People are watching me. Aya is watching me. My fight is watching me. All Confra is watching me. Now, when they now called, when they now bring all of them, I took them to, they do biometry, and all of them were engaged. Then, it now comes to the time of SSC. I hear that they are telling SSC. And I say, ah, I went to the governor again and said, sir, uh, sorry, sir, Oliver Twist asked for more. You know, we have a lot of youth that is them, that is well read, that cannot even do this kind of neighborhood, that want to hold this office. So, Baba, please. He said, No, but we have given your boys. I said, Baba, besides what we have people in politics that work. He said, Okay, I want to see them. That's how I was now calling different people from different communities. I cannot, I don't want to mention. Communities leaders are listening to me now. I now enter the community and I pick from the community, and I gave them SSA. Just for peace to reign, for everywhere to be calm. Why some were still engaged in revenue? A lot were engaged, more than 2,700 were in revenue. So, everybody were happy. You know why I went far to this very line? Because you asked me, how am I going to manage the color and this blah, blah, blah? We've done it before. Okay. And the color, they know Kabaka is not in. I don't send Listen, I'm a mature man, and my son is a grown-up son, and he's in military. How will he feel that uh, my father went to go and be doing nonsense that I mean, fuck. So, we are both there. Thank God for today. So, we'll be piloting the affair to make sure we reduce cutting fight and cutting killing in this thing. You can go back, you can go back to my old video when Arasel was a, 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 a inspector general of police acting. Yeah, I don't know if you understand. We even do it every before end of SARS. I came out when our boys were having a challenge, when police were disturbing Yahoo boys. I came out on social media to and the CP then reduce that action. You understand? So we have been contributing our back. So but all I, I I get back from it is a bad name. But thank God I'm still living with my people and they are celebrating me today. A lot of uh, youth leaders have been engaging. Emerging as a youth leader, he has never viral like this. Even in, in during time of social media, people are posting pretty poster for me, doing a lot of message. But man, I keep look myself, man. Man, it's good to be good. I'm not lying to you. It's good to be good. It's good to be transparent. 
So, uh, I want to tell my brother out there in diaspora, I'm there to go and represent my youth, not to go and disgrace you people. And I promise you guys, for you to have the belief and trust, to support me, to be sharing video, man, who is me now? So I appreciate so much. All I need is your prayer and guidance, prayer and advice. Nobody's above advice. So because we want to move forward. Uh, it does not mean somebody behave like this before, the person cannot change. I've changed a lot of people's lives. I've changed arm robber's life. A lot of arm robber have changed their life. I know how many people have removed from arm robbery. I've changed life, I've changed people from pocket picking. I know how many people have changed from pocket picking. So, if people that grow up with me can testify, uh, you know, because I'm vocal, because the way I'm manner I talk, people feel this guy is so dread. And, but if you are close to me, you'll see the different side. Uh, you know, everybody will an on honestly feel how to, how to take care of yourself, how to make sure your children, you give birth to, you, how, they are, how to make sure they are okay. That's why we are in the streets hustling. No, nobody is perfect. So that is my advice and uh, my word to the youth and my brothers in diaspora. You're welcome. Thank you. But okay. Okay. Uh, um, Papa Wao, who uh, actually had a wide uh, media space as at this very hour, we're just barely uh, 30 minutes into talking with you, and we have over. 300 uh, persons watching us on the space. Yeah. Uh, that shows the strength of viewing. Uh, and I believe if we uh, get to know further from you, uh, some persons look at it as if uh, it is because uh, you feel pain uh, that your hotel was destroyed, the Vatican Hotel. Yeah. And uh, because the APC knows that uh, you are a product to work with. Yeah. That is why they want to solely compensate you in this office. No. Do you do you see it as a compensation? No. This office did not even warrant my hotel that was brought down. First of all, there's no allocation to youth leader anywhere. Okay. Secondly, youth leader does not have any position that uh, what the youth leader is is to represent the youth. Maybe if there's a campaign, maybe they are doing campaign, or they, they will call you, they will mobilize you. And you share the money, various or local government that will bring their people down to the podium. I think that is what youth leader. But what I'm, 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 I'm aspiring for this youth leader, first of all, for me to have voice to represent my people. For me, you cannot understand. Money, there's no money in youth leader. If you ask the DVD vividly, the DVD was spending his money along the youth leader for it. There's no. We all are in uh, uh, those things, people that mm. understand youth leader. Mm. Yes. Except when they get activity. Mm. There's no youth leader, man. We know what we are saying. It does not even warrant my hotel. Time we come that I will know if APC we are really one love, one brother. The time we come, they will do uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 a fundraising for me. I know time we come. My party will do fundraising because we are, we are one unity. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. But we just, you know what just happened this past election? Everybody just tried to recover from it. Because either if you drag, either Solomon win or Peter yes, win. Yes, yes, so yes. it's normal. Yes. So if you did not win, you allow the government to flow. Yes. That is why I am mute. So all we are discussing here is to make sure our youths are being carried along. Yes. Not yes. enough. Yes, hey, but uh, you, wait, you okay. are a, an APC chief, day, yeah, a very prominent one, yeah, and uh, uh, you are a stakeholder yeah. in uh, those state politics. Yeah. How can you assess uh, the, the administration of uh, of Asenke? Well, uh, that question would be for you, you, you the human rights activist. <laughs> I've been on social media. Uh, I don't want to have problem with this present government, please. Okay. Because I know what I'm saying. If you talk now, mm. I have only my house remaining. Yes. I don't want them to go and demolish you. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's keep the <laughs> mercy. <laughs> Before we round up this session, a lot of people, the monitor. Yes, a lot of, I know a whole lot of those ones are watching across. Yes, comments, comments. 
Uh, but basically, yeah. basically, my street governor, uh, <laughs> hello, you have to see. That's the way we don't have, I've invested before now, yeah. but now I'm begging in the street. Somebody that do that, you want me to go and do it. Maybe if you want him to cut off my head. Okay. So <laughs> let's him rule it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, um, thank you. For, uh, I just want to ask you this quick one before we, before we round up. Before we round up. Uh, yeah. Uh, now that you are very sure yeah. uh, hope tomorrow uh, people won't come to say, oh, I don't know. Hope, because the politics of what we see today in Nigeria is that uh, our leaders or our representatives at any capacity are more of personal interest okay. than collective interest. Okay, good. Now I want to answer this question from a deep angle from the bottom of my heart. Do you know a lot of people have been going for youth leader, state youth leader, you have never viral like this? Somebody went, somebody is going for a PDP now, somebody went for APC. You have never viral like this. Yes. Do you know why I make this viral? I want this present government to hold their people and engage them. With all what I'm saying, you will see things will play out. The Tokberian, some of them will be engaged perfectly now. Because they are watching me. They are watching me that this man is coming a youth leader of APC and what he's saying is like we are we, we neglect our youth that work for us is for them to wake up to engage their youth if those people are being engaged if they see me in beer parlor they can see buy me one bottle of beer yes i don't know if you understand because we are in the street they are on top uh. we meet outside i don't know if you understand so did my interview that viral my youth leader that viral I, i'm throwing a sign i'm giving out a sign for the present government to know, not to neglect their people. Because if those people are being engaged, my brother, fuck, we all we will we still be benefiting in the streets yes. from them. Oh. So, my brother, that is all I have. Okay, I think we should have to read some comments here. Somebody said, uh, Princess uh, uh, Meng said, Congratulations, bro. I wish you long life. Amen. Somebody said, Congratulate, Congratulations to you. Uh, one who posts it, it is just too unfortunate people who just to me Kabaka doesn't really know him because they do, if they do, they won't judge him wrongly. Okay, somebody also, you are always a good man. I will support you, my dear brother, Joseph Aina. Somebody, Atun, uh, Timothy said, you did it for me, sir. You are a great man. God bless you, my brother, happy weekend. This guy is nice. Uh, the prophet Baba Kabaka, father of all, Baba, you too much. In fact, so many uh, uh, commendations are just flowing from our viewers. Uh, it is very obvious that uh, you you are the governor of the streets. I can remember vividly when we, both of us went to Abuja, and I when I enjoyed Abuja. When we went to a club, in fact, the way people eulogize you, the way people wow. sat before, before we sat down, they had brought my MC, brother. Different, this, different, is what, this is what I'm telling people. I, if I go to any club, maybe mm. I went to a club in Abuja mm. or Bini, my brother, before I sit down, before I say, let me order one bottle for myself, bottle will be coming from and different way. Yeah, At times, I will leave some bottle, I'll say, anytime I come again. Yes. Who is me? My brother, it's good to be good. It's good to be good. Uh, so, yes. Very, yes. your character, people, you look at social media now since then. Look at comments. You know, people, even people that were judging me, they are not seeing the different side. Yeah. Even people that were fighting me in social media, they are not my best friend. So, in life, we break up and make up. With yeah. time, we will understand everything. You're welcome. Thank you very much. My voice, her voice. Yes. Is, uh, um, I just also want to take this comment okay. uh, that is here from David Ewere, yeah. and he's saying, uh, I can count too many youths that you have helped and blessed today. Some are now lost in that state, yeah. talking about our state. Yeah. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a nice one, and uh, for me, uh, I just want to uh, wish you well, and wish you congratulations, wish you strong health, and, uh, and also... Uh, say that uh, do remember to ensure that you keep your good feet alive and uh, Oscar is yours. Uh, let me keep in one point. Advice to my youth. So my youth in those state most especially I want to advise you guys 
I made a comment that when our youth is having police training, I normally come out. I made a comment if they are dragging your property, I normally assist. But that no warrant you to go and commit. Every even the police knows. Stacey ID can testify. AIG can testify. If you went to go and commit what is robbery or you are found with God, Kabaka will never show face. Never. If you fight, you did not keep person. I will come in and ask you what what caused this fight. If you are wrong, I will tell you. I will assist in that angle. For you to say you want to go and commit. No, I don't do that one. No. So even police that is watching me, everybody is watching me, they know what I'm talking. This AID is close to me here. They know what I'm talking. AID is close to me here. They know what I'm talking. So even if you are my friend, you are my close relation, my the same father is him under, I will never show my face. So you heard. everybody should know that because a lot of people use my name. If I'm not there, you, nobody can use my name. As far as I'm dead, God keep me alive. You can use my name, but don't use it for evil thing. God bless you all. Thank you. Yes, uh, with what uh, our brother has uh, uh, deposited uh, copiously, vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the comments that are flowing, it is uh, very obvious that uh, you, you are a strict governor. And I want to say that uh, despite the, the challenges, we are aware of uh, what transpired prior to the governorship election. Yeah. We are aware of what happened, but even at that, still continue to be flowing with our youth. Still continue in your good work because there is an adage that says every other team will be blind. Yeah. History is not blind. You're Keep welcome. it up. I, I think I don't know if you have anything to say before we round off uh, this. Uh, I'm surviving session. today yes. with this condition that I have. Mm. If not the youth, I could have been nothing now. People that worked with me before, so we call me. I didn't even know if I like God is watching. Many called me. Hey, pa, hi, everything. I pa, you know, see, I mean, what for Uba? I that time. Mm. I mean, this. Hey, pa, I didn't spend now. Baba, how your time? Baba, I just make a hear you. Baba, I send me out. I mean, I regard you. Before I know, 500,000. Before I know, I'll be surviving with all this thing, I'm telling you. If I lie, God is watching. I don't know if you understand. So there's no how I can leave my youth. There's no how. I will try my best and with transparency. God bless you. Amen. I think with this, we will round off. This interview session with uh, our comrade Tony Kabaka. He's Adun. Yes. He's vying for the number one seat of his political party, All Progressive uh, Congress Youth. APC. All Progressive Congress APC. Yes. Uh, you know, we are, we are political. Uh, I don't want to say anything. For that, so that you not be as if I am campaigning for. <laughs> <laughs>